All right, here we are in QuickBooks Point of Sale. And normally it's just set to send everything over to QuickBooks Accounting uh, using a main merchandise sales account. Uh, but we want to get a little more granular and see how the different departments or stores are doing for point of sale. So here's what we do. QuickBooks Point of Sale, File Menu, Preferences, Company. Now in here we've got uh, the financial area. Click on that, it's going to talk to your QuickBooks Financial for a moment, and then go to Accounts. So here we are on the Basic tab, and we can see that all of our income accounts are merchandise sales, all of our cost of goods are cost of goods sold, and asset account is inventory asset. However, you might have missed this little check mark down here that says automatically create sub accounts based on whatever you want it to be. I'm going to check this check mark, we'll check out what we could do here. You can make sub accounts according to department. If you're just a single location, that would be good. Uh, if you're a multi-store location, you can uh, split it out by store and then by department, or vice versa. Maybe you want to know how the same department is doing across your multiple stores and see the hierarchy like that. So I'm going to keep it on department because I just got a little single location here. And you can split out the sub accounts for either your income accounts only or income cogs and asset so that you see uh, all reporting split down into those different accounts. I'm just going to do income accounts and then I'm going to apply those accounts to existing items. So action will set all item accounts the values currently defined in preferences which we just set so that is fine. You want to make them? Yeah. Now the next thing you're going to do if you want to see immediate changes you're going to go ahead and update your QuickBooks on the financial menu. Da da da, sending sales receipts over. Completed successfully. I had some memos and sales receipts sent over in that. Now I'm going to bring my QuickBooks accounting back over. I actually got a message on QuickBooks accounting that says data that affects this report, the one we were looking at, has changed. Do you want to refresh the report? Yes, I do. And right here we have that same report now refreshed. We have merchandise sales, but you'll notice a little arrow next to it. I can actually hit down on that arrow and now I will see merchandise sales that are split out into departments. You can see on different days I sold stuff from different departments. Awesome. Now I can actually do a comparison of different departments and what's doing well and what is not. Now one last thing I'm going to mention on this is that you can head on over to your inventory item list. You can edit any item you want here and you may have noticed this before there's actually QuickBooks options here if you're syncing with QuickBooks. We have cost of goods account, income account, and asset account. Now they're still listed as uh, what they were before, merchandise sales, cost of goods sold, and inventory asset. The subcategorization happens automatically underneath those accounts and so you can not actually like switch departments in the account option here. Uh, what you can do though is certain people want all the sales from a certain thing going to a particular account. Uh, let's say you're having a charity sale and so everything from a certain department or a certain type of item you want to end up into a charity account and so you could create that charity account in QuickBooks and make all the income from that particular item head right into the charity account so that you know how much you should give over to the charity. And there you have it folks, we have subcategorized our accounts in QuickBooks point of sale for special reporting purposes or what have you, whatever you want really. Thank you very much. My name's Peter. Thanks for coming along on this little tutorial. I hope you feel better informed. Thank you.